terms of um, n stepping away from the opt-in, opt-out model or that um, dichotomy and sort of the conversation revolving around whether we want to do opt-in or opt-out. Um, looking at both models, we see that there's ways that uh, users can be manipulated into giving their information regardless. Um, and even then, when we consent to giving over some of our data, there are some uses that should just be prohibited. So thinking about um, advertisement and what advertisements are being placed, we don't want to live in a world where what music you listen to and what um, sites that you go to, we don't want that information being used then to uh, cut you out of what housing advertisements you can see or what employment opportunities are available or you can see through advertisement. Um, and so the, the second thing that I want to affirm is having these non-discrimination and anti-discrimination provisions in, um, in a comprehensive privacy bill. Um, so to sort of shore up and to ensure that those uh, protections are being um, put in place and being followed. Um, and the last thing that we'd like to see in a comprehensive privacy bill is robust enforcement. So that's giving the appropriate rulemaking authority to the FTC um, and thinking about whether that means having a private right of action. Uh, we think of strong, when we look at strong uh, civil rights bills, there's always a private right of action um, because marginalized communities historically have not been able to rely on the government to protect them. Um, and thinking also about whether or not we want to give state attorneys generals the authorities also to bring um, claims in state courts.